Well, believe it or not, the Wisconsin Badgers did play pretty well last weekend at Michigan despite getting swept. Now six games remain, four in a row at home starting this weekend against league-leading Penn State. I'm Ryan Posick. Head coach Tony Granato joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Well, Tony, Michigan have been playing some pretty good hockey, and we saw that this past weekend, but your club was right there, especially Saturday. You had a chance maybe to pull out that game. Yeah, it's, it's one of those weekends where you're proud of the guys because they played hard. They played, they did what we asked them to do. Um, I thought we deserved a little better than, than the results we got. So, so from a positive standpoint, I think there were things done there that moving forward are going to help us win games. And, you know, you miss a few players in your lineup. Uh, that weren't able to play because of injuries and you're a little thin. Um, getting those guys back in, give us a little bit of boost. I like the way the lines are starting to play out. I thought the, the Zimmer line with, with Pelton Bice and, and with uh, Caulfield were outstanding. I thought some of the other lines, the Baker line was great. I thought So I, th I think there's some chemistry there that we didn't have early in the year. I thought, so I thought offensively we were great. The bottom line is we didn't keep the puck out of our net. There were plays, it seemed like, during the game that we were in control of the game. Pucks in their end for three or four minutes. It looks like we're going to take a game over. All of a sudden, it goes in our end and it goes in our net. And you know, you need to save every now and then. Uh, but but we we got to be more responsible to make sure that, that when something bad happens, it doesn't take four or five minutes to get going again. We turn around and get right back after it and get that goal back. And and so I th I think in a, it's a positive thing. I know I know it's hard for everybody to hear that because you know we're we're in a season that we expected so much and we haven't been able to produce victories. And we're all frustrated, but, but but I like our team's attitude. I like the work that they put in. And someday, hopefully it's this weekend, hopefully it's this year, we're going to see those results and we're going to see, you know, these guys get what they deserve. And they, they deserve something special, so hopefully that'll happen soon. Yeah, we always look for good stories within a season. Max Zimmer, one of the few seniors on this squad, is finishing pretty strong, isn't he? He's been outstanding. He's been through a lot. It's kind of been an up and down roller coaster, you know, four years here. There's times he's been out of the lineup. There's times he's been on fourth line. You know, there's times when, you know, we weren't sure of his status on, on where he was going to play or be, be part of our team. And he stuck with it because he's a great kid. He's a hard worker. He's a listener and learner. So, so I, I give the kid a ton of credit because there's times, you know, with, with how, uh, you know, the, the struggles were there when it, it was hard on him. And he said, I, I can deal with it, and I'll find a way to get better. So his performance has been outstanding. He's playing top-line minutes. He's been a leader in the room, and he's been one of the guys that, that as a coach, you feel comfortable in now understanding that what he's gone through has helped him, and hopefully he can help the rest of us as we, as we battle through it and, and turn these things into wins. Yeah, and the most thankless job on a hockey team is the goaltender who sees more pucks in practice than he does in games. Johan Blomquist is a senior as well, and he got a chance on Friday and played a career high in minutes, made a career high in saves, and the guys loved it. How can you not love Johan? Um, he's been here all four years. Coming in, he knew he was going to be the third goalie. He knew uh, that it would take injuries to, to have him give an to get the opportunity to play in games. He comes on all the road trips. We, we dress him for games as the third goalie. He is the most enthusiastic teammate and best representative, best representative of our program that you could ever ask for in that position. So for him to get in there and play really well, he had, you know, they, we gave up a couple power play goals. They got a couple bounces late against mm -hmm. them, but but he played outstanding. And and so. You know, here's this typical thing after the game. Hey, coach, thanks for putting me in. And, and I mean, as a, as a coach and as as part of a collegiate team and and a university, to have a player like that and a person like that on your team as one of your student athletes, you feel really proud of. And, yeah. and that's the way I feel about. It. Yeah, Johan's a great kid, very good student too, from Stockholm, Sweden. Let's take two minutes with Johan Blomqvist. So, Johan, tell me the first time you realized you wanted to come to the United States of America. I was about uh, 15, I think, playing hockey, and then um, kind of started to look into other options than just playing in Sweden because I knew, uh, I knew I wanted to see something else and do something different with my hockey. And then uh, you heard about uh, some of the Swedes, like uh, Carl Hagelin going to, uh, to Michigan, and he had great success there. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of when I got into college and then moved to Northwood. My, uh, my senior year of high school, and then two years of juniors, and then came here. Sure. Do you remember the first time Wisconsin reached out to you? 
Yeah, so it was actually my goalie coach, Mike Valley, that uh, he played here before. Uh, he called Tony and uh, Donnie at the time and they said uh, they should take a look at me. And then they reached out to me, I came on a visit and I just, uh, I love the campus and everything around it. Sure, was there any decision to be made or did you know at that point that this is where you wanted to be? No, I knew I wanted to come here. I was just uh, hoping the coaches thought the same thing, <laughs> had the same plan in mind. Yeah. Sure. What's this experience been like? Uh, it's been uh, it's been a great experience with uh, with everything around here. Like the hockey is great, school's great. I think the guys are great. The whole uh, whole state of Wisconsin is really good. Madison's a beautiful city. So I don't think there's a better campus you can come to. Yeah. Is it yeah. anything like Stockholm or where you grew up? Oh, well, it's a little bit like Stockholm in the sense that they get the, the water and the people like being outside here. But, uh, and that is pretty, it's pretty different. But I like it though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a long way from home, mm -hmm. so you don't get the home cooking or you know your parents or friends and family around here too much. You're, you've been okay with that. Yeah, well, you kind of gotta sacrifice some things to come here, but um, I think it's a worth like it's a sacrifice worth making because. Having a great time here, and I'm, uh, I'm really thankful that I got the opportunity to come here. That the coaches believe in me. That's nice. The Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Badgers will lose two goaltenders uh, next season. Jack Berry and Johan Blomquist will both graduate. You're bringing in Cameron Rowe. He's currently playing for Des Moines of the USHL. And then a young man, Ben Garrity, the uh, runner-up for Minnesota High School Goaltender of the Year a couple of years ago, currently with mine out of the North American League. What do you like about Ben Garrity? Well, first of all, he's a big goaltender. He's a guy that we've tracked for the last few years, and he's a guy that tracked us. So he's right from his first visit on campus. Uh, he made a pretty good uh, indication that he doesn't want to look elsewhere, that this is the place he wanted to go. Obviously, you watch him, you watch his development, um, and he's progressed really, really well, turned himself into an outstanding goaltender. And he'll be a great you know, guy for us to come in next year. You know, you, like you say, we lose two goalies. We need guys to come in and compete for positions. I think both those guys will do that. All right. And now this weekend, it's Penn State leading the Big Ten, although it's all jumbled at the top. This is going to be a heck of a challenge for your club. They, they are offensively as gifted as any team in college hockey. We know the challenges they'll give us. Um, we're excited. I think, you know, like I said earlier, our lineup's healthy. The lines are going to look a little bit different. I like the chemistry on all four lines. We're going to roll them over and get after them. And if we can forecheck the way we did against Michigan and, and keep them in their end and, and create a lot of havoc, and we scored, you know, seven, eight goals last mm -hmm. weekend. We can do the same thing this weekend. And, you know, Jones is a good goaltender. He's a big guy. But if we can if we can get on their D uh, like we were last weekend, Michigan will have some success. All right, have fun. Thanks. Thank you, Brian. Sure. That's Badgers head coach Tony Granato, Wisconsin and Penn State this weekend. Friday and Saturday night, both games start at 7 o'clock. Saturday's game on Fox Sports Wisconsin. You can listen on the radio, too, on the Badger Sports Network. For Tony Granato and Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.